Well, in other news now, and a young Adelaide horse trapper has said thank you to a group of people who miraculously saved her life at Morfordville Racecourse. 21-year-old Jess Warnikin collapsed from a heart condition and was clinically dead before the kind bystanders came to her rescue. An emotional reunion. I'm Julie. Nice I found you, you on the floor. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to see you looking good. Thanks. Jess Warner can finally meeting the Good Samaritan she owes her life to. I'm just really thankful because without these people I wouldn't be here, so I'm just really lucky. <laughs> it was on this day exactly 12 months ago the 21-year-old was working as a strapper at Morfordville Racecourse when she collapsed from what was later diagnosed as a rare and deadly heart condition. Doctors say she was clinically dead but this unlikely team including a vet, nurse and a police officer joining forces to perform life-saving CPR. Gary, nice there you go. You. Well done. Thank you. Gary, Gary took over when I ran out of puff. We're just so happy that it's worked out, how it's worked yeah, out. Yeah. You knew that everyone there knew what they were doing. One minute Jess was showing a horse on inspection day, the next she was on the ground right here. Her heart had stopped. About 10 people rushed to the scene, taking turns in rendering CPR. But it wasn't until 20 minutes later when paramedics arrived that Jess was brought back to life. Glenn, um, his guy who was assessing horse, horse hearts, from equine heart yeah. and he had an ultrasound machine we put on your chest to make sure that we were doing correct CPR and it was absolutely invaluable. Jess was rushed to hospital where she stayed in an induced coma for three days. It was so horrible seeing my sister lying there not capable of breathing on her own. Luckily she's now made a full recovery. Those who helped save her life calling for CPR training to be made mandatory in schools so others can learn the same skills that help them save a life. Caroline Morano, Nine News.